Hello there guys, my name is Angelina and welcome to a brand new video. I'm not aware if tea videos will be a thing on my channel yet, but I'd kind of like them to be. So please be sure to reply in the comments the kind of topics you guys want. Today, we'll be talking about Lumi Starbun, as I've been wanting to cover her for quite a while now. Lumi, Lucas, Luna, Lu, or Rux, whatever they go by at this point, is a Twitter artist that has recently gained fame via YouTube for a video exposing Nora the Wolf. So personally, I've been following Lumi since 2018. I believe I only became part of the drama late 2019 when I found at Sergeant Pink or Castile via Twitter. I followed her art and found that she had been doxxed. Lo and behold, it was Lumi. Take this as you will, for I'm not exactly sure why they started fighting, but it led to Lumi invading on Castile's family with the help of her boyfriend Matt. Lou has posted photos of Castile, has sent pizzas to her address, and found photos of her dad via Facebook and leaked them. And don't forget kids, doxing someone and spreading their personal information over the internet is illegal! Another occurrence I can think of was when Lumi commissioned an artist for an art piece. They claimed via DM that they were happy with the result, according to the artist who posted about it. Lumi later went onto her own Twitter and claimed the art was ugly and that she hated it. She said the artist was tracing, which she didn't show proof to, and then filed a dispute to PayPal, in which she received a refund whilst keeping the commission. If so far you don't think Lumi's a complete piece of garbage, this one might bring it home for you. Lumi has worked for Madame. If you don't know who Madame is, or Princess Ash, she's a YouTuber who pretty much stole art from a fan. The fan had requested recognition as payment, but she could not have a PayPal account for being under PayPal's legal age. Once their deal was in agreement and Madame had received her art, the fan asked for her recognition in return. Madame used this as an example to call them out. She claimed they were ungrateful and unprofessional. The fan did not receive recognition, and I believe Ash still uses the artwork. And this all just kind of shows you that she'd be willing to work with someone on this level of Ash. And I think the most awful part of Lumi is that she's faked her suicide multiple times! And most recently a few days ago. She often does this when drama makes her look bad or needs attention in order to keep herself relevant. She pretended to shoot herself, has faked going to rehab for depression, and above all lied and manipulated her fans. All of this is completely disgusting. She's apologized, you could say, but this is her just promising to do better. And then repeating the same manipulative ways in the future. Guys, she hasn't gotten any better. I'll show some evidence now and read through some tweets. Most of her posts have been deleted, but I can only show what I have. Here's a quote of Lumi confessing that she told Matt to commit suicide. Before you say anything, suicide is not a joke. It was never a joke to me. I am genuinely suicidal from everything that has happened, and I forced Matt to do it. He didn't want to, it's not his fault. I made him do it and that's disgusting of me. I'm disgusting and I will never be forgiven, but I'm officially going into serious therapy. I won't be active much and I'm being described antidepressant. I should be okay in a week or so. This is her lying about getting help once again. People don't often take therapy for a week. It takes time to get through this stuff and she's in denial of what she's doing is hurting people. Don't tell me she's not. If this isn't, why would she be doing this garbage still? Here is a photo Lumi uploaded on her Twitter claiming she faked her suicide. And um, this is the recent one, by the way. Lumi also recently made another big oopsie. She discussed private personal information about her friend Light in a YouTube video, claiming she was clout chasing and harassing her boyfriend when Matt said something that I presume was not okay. So, Lumi. If your friend defends you against your boyfriend for doing something wrong, why is that bad? She also claimed that she was threatening Matt, saying Light claimed she'd hurt him, etc. I don't know, but this sounds really joking to me. Hey bro, come here, I'ma beat your face in. Nah bro, I'ma kill you. <laughs> See what I mean? Okay, and who puts this in their comment section? I can't think of another channel, but that's a scandal for another day. Anyway, she claims to not believe what you can't prove 100%. Lumi! You're doing the same garbage! You claim that Light did some pretty messed up shit and said she dated someone underaged! That is a serious accusation to make! But if you can't back up what you said with proof, then why should anyone believe you? Exactly. I'd like to read some tweets of Lumi's, blaming her mental illness for her actions. People like to throw people who have a mental illness under the bus. As someone who has a lot of them, I can tell you that you can't blame us for our actions all of the time. We aren't responsible for all our actions. Yes, we did it, but sometimes something comes over us and we can't stop it. End quote. I understand having a mental illness isn't something to joke about. Sure, you can't always stop what you've done, but you can take responsibility for it. You can be accountable. You can understand what you've done is wrong and try to work on getting better. But she's not doing anything, and this is the problem. I've heard voices for over a year now. 
telling me to do things, telling me to kill myself or kill others. They even told me to kill my own animals and boyfriend. So I faked it to make it stop. They stopped for a while, but they just continue out. Like I have to fake my own suicides for it to stop. That's why I did it. That's why I lied. To make everything stop. To make me not be crazy anymore. Please understand this and not judge me. As I'm trying to so hard to stop and it's really difficult. I don't have much I can say about this, but for starters, if you or anybody you know is claiming they've heard voices about killing themselves or wanting to kill others, especially close ones to them, please get them some help. That is not okay. It's not good for your mental state and it's not that safe for everybody around you if you're irrational. Anyway, here's a clip that can be found on YouTube of Lumi and Matt having a discussion about Princess Ash with the YouTuber whom uploaded the video. This can be found on YouTube and I'll link it down in the description. The audio has been provided by Ovalsoft. Please be sure to check out their channel and give them some love. You don't have to be sad. I don't give a f As long as you know that you're wrong. I I'm not. I'm really you are. not. You literally no. are. There is so much proof of you doxing, harassing, and bullying multiple people. I guarantee if we went into your DMs, you I guarantee that if we went into your DMs, That's the one who something. wanted to be friends with Ash, okay. My DMs? Um, mm -hmm. sweetheart, you don't know the full story about that. If you- this is apart from you. You don't know the whole story I was about friends that. With Ash I was friends with friends Ash. Away from her. Well, there it is, folks. This is how Lumi Starbun treats people around her. Honestly, I don't think there's much else that can be said about this besides the fact that Lumi is a manipulative, harassing asshole. So please, if you are in contact with Lumi, block her. Don't talk to her. Don't get involved with her drama. Please do not provide her comfort for she has been lying. Faking your suicides and blaming your mental illness is not okay. If you have a mental illness, you should be spreading awareness. You shouldn't be blaming all your life's mistakes on it. Anyway, please feel free to give me some ideas on what you guys want to talk about. I'm thinking of diving down into Yandere Dev's bullshit. But, um, that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.